Yes guys, so today we're gonna to talk about how you can easily transition from bald to hair system. Welcome back to Hair System DIY guys. I'm your host Adam. This video is sponsored by Levivid. It's the system that I'm wearing right now. This is a ultra thin skin. It's called Mirage. You can check it out on their website. I've got a special 15% discount for you. Just type in Adam15 in their coupon code below or below on their website and it will basically get you 15% off any system. And the great thing is you can use it as many times as you like. We've got a cost of living crisis, so it's gonna come in really, really handy. All the info you need is in the description box below, so please don't forget to check that out. Today's topic is how to easily transition from basically being bald or having a very low amount of or low density of hair to basically getting a hair system and doing it in a way that's sort of subtle, sleek and barely noticeable. I know this is a pretty big deal for a lot of people. It certainly was for me. So I'm basically going to go through with you a couple of ideas as to how you can do it in a really subtle way. Now one caveat I'd like to add at the beginning of this video is that if you literally have no hair on the top of your head it's going to become you know fairly obvious if you start you know growing hair back so i think you just need to basically front up to that and just be like well you know i've got a transplant or you know i've decided to go for a system and maybe explain what a system is to people because people will notice if you just go from completely bald to even having some hair it's it's kind of obvious so if you're in that situation i think fronting up is the best possible way you also have the option to front up if you have thinning hair. That's completely your choice. It's not something that I did with a majority of people. But then again, a majority of people didn't even notice when I got a system because I still had a decent amount of hair on my head and it was kind of believable that my hair was somewhat thicker without having any sort of, or without having had any sort of intervention in the meantime. But if you are concerned about that, there are options for you. And I think the most obvious one is probably to work your way up in terms of densities. So if you've got, you know, thinning hair or even fairly thin hair, it's probably a good idea to start at a fairly low density of hair system. And the lowest you can get is a 60. Now a 60 does look pretty thinning anyway. So you may not even want to go that low. You may want to start at 70. I probably wouldn't go any higher than that to begin with because otherwise it will probably become a little bit too obvious. The great thing as well is that you don't have to get a full headpiece. You can basically get smaller ones. You can get what are called partials. Now with a partial, you can get a frontal partial. You can get a crown partial. You can get anything like that. And what quite a few people tend to go for and you can get this through Levivid, you can go to other companies if you so wish. You can get basically systems where the hairline is sort of progressively getting fuller and fuller and fuller. And that is what I'd recommend. I seem to recall, I can't remember the name of the company, but it was a sort of, it was a company based in the UK, but they were a global company. And they did this thing called Strand by Strand. I'd never recommend it because it was an absolute rip off from what I seem to remember. And I remember that really annoying a lot of people because they were basically like, I'm paying a crazy amount of money for not much really. But a lot of companies, online companies, offer exactly the same at a much cheaper rate. As I said, Levivid are one of them. There's other companies out there, you know, such as Lord Hair and stuff, you can check them out. But it's it's a great way to sort of subtly build back your hairline. It's not obvious. It's, it's almost like if you do it over a period of, shall we say, six months to a year, it's basically unnoticeable because the ordinary ordinary folk don't take that much notice of your hair. We do because we wear hair systems and we're hyper vigilant about these things. It's incredible the amount of hyper vigilance you see within the hair system community around hairlines. It is literally crazy because I, I'm telling you now, a massive majority of people 
who don't wear systems or don't even know what systems are, they really don't take that much notice of your hairline. Um, so as a little side point, I wouldn't worry too much about that because chances are you're being probably very hypervision about it, basically. If I were you and you're going through this process and you want to take the subtle approach, as I said earlier, do it over six months to a year and each system that you get, I wouldn't start with an ultra thin skin, by the way. I think it's just too delicate for new users. I'd probably start with a poly perimeter, maybe with a lace frontal. But yeah, every time you get a new system, they usually last about three to four months. So each time you get a new system, increase the density by 10%. That's all you need to do. It doesn't take too much thought. You can either do that or you can start with partials. Now, quite often people who have sort of thinning hair, it's usually the, the hair at the front around the sort of widow's peak, which tends to thin first. So you might want to think about getting a partial, which is basically just sort of like you can get it at the front. You can also get one at the crown, but that's slightly rarer I found in the sort of hair loss community that people tend to lose that first. It tends to be the front bit. So you could really start with a partial and then almost sort of build up as you go along and effectively work your way backwards until you're at a sort of full system. It may also be that you start with a partial and then you just go straight to a normal size stock system, but a lower density, maybe like a 70 or something like that. And as I said, just building that up slowly, I'd probably never go above 110%. I think anything beyond that is a little bit too thick. And I did a video on this with a, I think it was 120% and I basically tried to thin it out and it still looked really, really thick. So I really wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go above 110%. I'd even say if you're in your 30s, especially in your 40s, I probably wouldn't go above a 90 to 100%. This particular system that I'm wearing now, it's a 95% system. It fits pretty well. It fits my age profile pretty well. So that's probably what you should be aiming for. One last thing I'd like to say is this is a really big decision, getting a hair system, guys. And a lot of people, myself included, wanted to be fairly subtle about how they did it because otherwise it can be a little bit obvious. So please do re-watch this video a couple of times, especially if you're on the fence because there are ways of doing this which are not obvious and are unlikely to make or are unlikely to raise eyebrows within your friendship groups or within your family groups. I hope you found this video insightful guys. Are you on the fence? Are you still sort of thinking, how can I get a system without it being too obvious? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Or are you a current system wearer and did you take that approach when you did start wearing a system? i.e. slowly building up density or starting with a partial and working up to a sort of full base. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button guys because I think about 30% of my viewers, only 30% are subscribers and I'd really like to build that up a little bit. So please do subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell button because it will notify you whenever I make a new video and you will get first access to any new content that I make. As I said, this was a big decision for me back in the day, and you might want to check out another video of mine, which is called Why It Took Me Eight Years to Get a System, to basically get inside sort of my thought process behind it, and that'll pop up on the screen right now, so please do check that out. Till next time, guys, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the heat, and please stay safe.